Welcome back to the channel guys. So today we're gonna look at another issue. This one is the Spark Gap X4 from OpenLogic EFI. So stay tuned. Okay, so what you see before me here is, this one is not exactly new, but it is the OpenLogic EFI Spark Gap X4 issue. So this one is Again, made by my friend Aaron over at OpenLogic EFI. It's a Speedrino based ECU. So as usual, we're gonna start off by looking at the outside and then work our way in. Okay, so on the outside, it's gonna start off with the measurements, right? So <clears throat> this one is including the connector. I believe it's 130 millimeters. It's about 75 millimeters wide and about 40 millimeters tall. Um, the enclosure is an aluminum enclosure. It does have this wider base area here, as you can see. Um, you can use this end here to mount it. So put some drywall screws or something to mount it on <coughs> your electric panel or whatever it is you mount in your ECU too. On the front side of the ECU, we have a printed end plate, um, green printed, printed end plate, sorry, with the OpenLogic EFI ECU on it, the ECU logo. Um, we have an MX23A connector, um, looks like an OEM style connector. I'm not sure what else this connector is used on. First time seeing it, but it looks like an OEM base connector. Um, it's a 40 pin connector. This here is the end which you will be using for your harness and it's a very simple connector just one clip if I can do this one handed yeah so essentially I got 40 pins numbered 1 to 20 on each row um, so that's about it for the front end it's been held by four screws aluminum enclosure like I said um, does have some fins here so it does have some heat dissipation properties but these don't really get that hot so <clears throat> Excuse me, not exactly the, not exactly needed. On the back end, sorry, we have the map sensor. Uh, might get a little bit loud, just started raining. We have the map sensor port, um, which goes onto the onboard map sensor, and then we have a USB Type C connector. This does not appear to be um, watertight, so I would not try submersing this ECU in any form of water whatsoever. So moving on to the ECU, it is powered by an Arduino Mega 2560 processor. So it does use the same hardware and software as the Speedrino ECU. All right, so on the inside, we have four channels. So we have four injection and four ignition channels. So the four channels are good enough to do up to eight cylinders. Um, you can do four cylinders sequentially, um, but for eight cylinders, you need to do batch injection or and wasted spark, right? So moving on, we have four configurable input channels on the inside. So we have a channel for um, coolant temperature, throttle position, intake air temperature, and um, the standard O2, 0 to 5 volt O2 signal from your wideband. We have free customizable um, inputs. Um, you can use that for stuff like oil pressure. Um, those are 0 to 5 volts, by the way. Oil pressure, fuel pressure, etc., etc. We have free trigger inputs, so one crank and two cam signals. Most engines typically have one cam and a crank signal, but in case your application needs two cam signals, this one can do it as well. We also have two customizable digital inputs, which you can use for stuff like switches, um, vehicle speed sensor, etc., etc. We have the provisions for a dual VR conditioner that can be added to the inside of the board. This you use for engines equipped with VR conditioners, VR um, sensors, sorry. We also have an onboard four bar map sensor. So that's good enough for three, um, three bars of boost or roughly 43 PSI of boost. We have a one bar barometric pressure. So it, um, this is you can sample the barometric pressure which is atmospheric pressure in real time we have the provisions for 
On the inside here, we have the provision for the standard DVR8825 stepper mode, the stepper module for engines equipped with um, stepper idle control valves. We have six pre-configured outputs. So those outputs by default with this ECU are configured for the stuff like the fans, um, two for idle, um, we have boost control and VVT, etc, etc. We have two customizable spare outputs. So those are low current. So for low current, they should be used to drive a relay. So you can set a programmable output and then use this ECU to control two things in addition to the pre-configured ones of fuel pump and whatnot. You can control two other um, outputs of your choosing. We have the standard flex fuel input, uh, clutch switch input, which is a ground switching, so it has to be a ground signal coming out of your clutch pedal. Um, we have the taco output, so it has an output that can be used to drive your standard taco meter on your cluster. In addition to that, we have the two serial headers, serial zero and serial free, typically used for Bluetooth module. So you can add a Bluetooth module to this and use this in conjunction with your dash, your laptop, if it's Bluetooth compatible or a cell phone or any other device. And last but not least, as I mentioned on the back end, we have a USB type C connector here and it does have some weatherproofing around it but like i said this ECU does not look weather tight to me because i can see a couple gaps in between so i would not chance using this in an environment where it will be exposed to any sort of heavy moisture or water um like i mentioned this is powered by an arduino mega so you do get to use speedy loader to do all of your programming of flashing on firmware and whatnot um just like every other speed you know um, Arduino based ECU. Um, on the inside we have the Arduino and it still runs the Speedwino software so you can use Tuner Studio to be able to tune all of this um, just like every other one and Megalog Viewer for data login. Alright so this one is looking to be a hit from the OpenLogic EFI camp. I love the motorsport style connector so let me know if you want me to cover anything specifically and I'll try my best to get that out for you guys.